Hello, Dalton here with Can Advisor's weekly update for May 11, 2022. The federal government is promoting funding opportunities for researchers to study the benefits and risks of cannabis for cancer patients. Vermont House and Senate negotiations are set to debate cannabis potency limits. New York regulators approved 32 more conditional cultivator licenses as the state prepares to launch retail sales later this year. The Delaware House approved a cannabis legalization bill, sending it to the Senate. Mississippi regulators filed medical cannabis advertising rules. The Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation reported that retailers sold nearly $132 million worth of legal recreational cannabis products in April. This is the second highest monthly adult use cannabis sales total since legalization began in the state. Missouri activists turned in what they say are double the amount of signatures needed to qualify a cannabis legalization initiative on the November ballot. A Kansas Senate leadership spokesperson said it is unlikely lawmakers will pass a medical cannabis bill when they return to session later this month. Colorado Governor Jared Polis is backing psychedelics reform and says prohibition inhibits research into their medical benefits. In local news, Austin, Texas voters approved of a local cannabis decriminalization ballot initiative. And finally, U.S. Border Patrol documents confirmed that merely working in Canada's cannabis industry does not disqualify individuals from entering the United States. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us at Canada Advisors Weekly Update.